Stop. So, stop. we're playing outside. No, stop. Uh, me and Kate were like, no. Um, we're assigned like a bed, a guardian bed for the semester. And we have like all this. What's that? We have like all this different stuff. So I'm going to tell you. So the, what we had to do, what she had us do is like look around and we got to choose the bed we wanted. And um. Bed. Yeah. So what kind of bed are you doing? Is it like square foot gardening or what is it? Well, it's in the dome. So. Oh yeah. Cool. So you have to go down there every... Every day. We split that class in half because each class is an hour and a half. So we spend like 30 to 40 minutes in the classroom and then the rest of it down in the dome and like we check out like all, all the plants. How do you get down there? Like, we walk down there. We ha there's a dome at the high school. Oh. There's not one. Oh, 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 oh. I know, I know what you're thinking, but not that one. One by room house. There's no. the, not the one by room house. They have their, the high school has their own. Because they're bad. And basically... What are you growing? I'm, I'm about to tell you. So, what was I saying? So basically we have like daily tasks. So there's like seven okay. different beds and seven different daily tasks. So there's seven groups. Each group is assigned, or each group picks a bed. And then depending on the bed they pick, they get a daily task. So my, our daily task is we have to make compost tea. Thank you. Compost tea. Oh, oh grab that, grab that. I'll get it, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So, um, basically, it's like a mix of like, so we take... Did it go in the water? No, I don't think it did. So, it's a mix of like water from the koi pond because there's like a ton of nutrients in it. It's like we pour all of that into a five gallon bucket. And it's mixed with like stuff that goes in the soil and stuff. I don't really know. There's a scoop of both and like stuff for the worms or whatever. I don't know. So yeah, and then we have to let that brew. Basically, like what do you mean? What I mean by brew? Well, that's what she calls it. Mature. Like you have to like let it sit, and yeah. you have to put like the bubble thingy, bubble thingy to make the oxygen in there. So it basically all, all like. The like good nutrients start working or whatever. <clears throat> so then we pour that into all the beds we can, and that's my daily do. Mm. It's a fertilizer. Basically, yeah. And it gets we do that. So that koi water, they they use it as a fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Did you tell them what kind of stuff you have in there? Not yet. Oh, okay. I push those about So. You just planted them today, or what? No. They've been planted for like a year and a half. So I like But it's your turn to take care of them. Yeah, for the semester. Well, I think what I'm pretty sure is we'll get this bed for two weeks. And then we switch. Or something like that. I don't know. But the one that we have right now, we named it Fiona. Because Fiona? Yeah. Because she doesn't really have any, like, she's not really pretty and she's just Aww. pretty. But it, she has good vegetables and fruits. But the bed and yeah. So the first thing. What is that? So we were 100% sure these were bell peppers because they smell like bell peppers. Can you see the picture? Daddy, no. Uh, this is like one of the. This is like one of the medium sized ones. This is the one we tried, and we're like, okay, they're 100% bell peppers. Because Ms. Wheeler didn't like, she wanted us like to figure everything out. She didn't want us to like, she didn't, she didn't want to like go around telling everybody like, everything they had in the bed. So we went around the bed and like figure everything out ourselves or whatever. So we were like, me and Kate were like for sure it was bell peppers because like they smelled like bell peppers. And when we tried them, they were so hot. They're all penguins. But it was like just the seeds. No. There wasn't much meat. No. Like, well, like, only the seeds are spicy. Oh. But, like, everything else, I, I felt, it tasted like a bell pepper until you, like, 
got a seed, like, I got a seed on my lip. Oh, it stung so bad. I like my lip, like, like, got a little bump on it. Oh, man. Yeah. What else do you have? Um, cantaloupe. Stop. And then, you have, I think this is, you have oregano. Hey. Can you um can you take some pieces off of it and then we have a garden in our We're house? Harvesting that we... tomorrow. We're harvesting on Monday. So can you take some of that and then like? That's, well, we most of it. So majority of the harvest has to go to the kitchen, but that's only if like. So like that's only if like there's like large amounts. So like if there's like a zillion carrots, then most of it will go to the kitchen. Sure. But if there's like three or four, then we'll just have to take it. So can you like take those and like like the oregano? Because we could we could have like a right above I can the ask for right above the um. Yeah, I can ask where for is it? No, it'd be the window. And then we also have snapdragons. This is the only color in the whole bed. Just mm -hmm. this one flower. Only flower. <gasps> Really? But our our bed has been like recent, like over the summer it's been infested with spider spider mites. Mm -hmm. So that's so amazing. so are, are they gonna get uh no, but, get but, ladybugs? So today we had we re release ladybugs and like Miss Boy had to buy them online so we have to because yeah. since a lot of them die when we yeah. ship them we have to buy them in like really big amounts. Yeah. So she decided to do a bigger amount because of. A bigger, it's a big problem. So she bought nine thousand. Yeah. And she was thinking like a lot of them would die, and only like a thousand of them died. So they were like swarming everywhere. <laughs> and like this, when Miss Miller walked in after putting them in the garden, she wasn't with us when she did it. And like teachers were telling her like, if you have like ladybugs like falling out of your bed, and like yeah, and uh, and the teachers were like picking them off. And as she was ta talking to us about it, one fell off. Her face. <laughs> Like I'm not even. There were there were so many. I'll show you. Oh yeah, I'll show you. Well, they're not gonna have that spider mite problem anymore then. This is just one like section of our garden. Can I see? That has all the. Um, That's not all of them. That's like like a like a tiny little. Oh, there's ladybugs. Yeah. Uh, so, um, what else do you guys have? Um, got, so. What I was saying was, could we do an herb garden and get some of those herbs, and then do you want to do you want to do an herb garden so we have like fresh herbs? Sure. You yeah. know. Is that your room? Where? Mm -hmm. Um, we could actually just put them. Oh, and then we we found these little like these, they're tiny little melons. This one is honeydew, orange honeydew, something like that. It's a cross between a cantaloupe and a honeydew. So if you come out of the, if we go out of the, if we go out of the sliding glass door, listen, and then you go to the left, we could just hang it, hang it right in the back, right by the steps. So both sides of the steps would be, because that gets hit with morning sun all the time. And they're shaded during the day. Okay, and then this one is cantaloupe, and then lavender. Lavender's a good, uh... And then strawberry leaves. We don't have any strawberries yet. And then... Yay! Oh, she asked without cheese. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's just messy with you. Wings, no sauce. What would potatoes be without cheese? It would be not potatoes. It would be uh, not potatoes. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. What else? Um, this, this is one of the larger watermelons, but that's not that's not gonna be ready to like. Oh, that's our watermelon. That's a can. That's a honeydew. That's not going to be ready for like maybe two or three weeks. And then these are flowers from the squash. They're just not ready yet. And then kale. Wow. And then 
um, bush beans. And then this is the seeds for the honeydew. Honey orange, that's a good one. And there's, there's one melon that's almost ready. It's like, it's not very big, it's like this big. But it's, we know they're ready when they turn white. And this one is like still, it's white, but it's like still kind of green. Mm. So it's like too much. Out of here, boy. So I'm really excited. Cool. That's so cool that you could do that. I'm but glad like that our, you're getting into it. Our bed is like one of the biggest and like the melon are taking over. And it's like, there's only like two, two or three really big ones. And like, the floor doesn't want to cut them because we're waiting for the harvest of the melons. So she wants to cut it back because it's like taking over like all the space it can. Hmm. Yeah. Is this so the like, class that you just switched to? Or you are not? Yeah, I've, I've been in and there's like other like daily duties of like separating the compost and like feeding the worms. And that one's kind of, yeah, that one's weird because like there's like a giant box where they all go to like eat or whatever I guess. And you do like half compost from the kitchen and half paper. Yeah. And there's also like watering, like filling up the tank Got and him. watering for that. I'm in my new favorite fruit. What's that? Watering. Fig. Mm. Like fresh off the tree. Me and Uriah, like last year, we went in the, in the grow domes by. How oh, you your sunglasses? We went in the grow domes by, um, what's it called? By Rooter House? Like last year, I think. You went in the And this guy was in there. The gardener was in there. Daddy. The gardener was in there and he was like, you want to try these figs? And I just got 